After 10 years since this sinkhole opened up underneath a home in Sefner, swallowed a man who was sleeping in his bed, never saw it coming. That sinkhole reopened, though, overnight last night. If you've lived here long enough, you probably remember that story. It made international headlines in February of 2013. And despite their best efforts, first responders were not able to rescue Jeffrey Bush, and his body was never found. This is the view from Sky Fox over the hole on Faithway Drive today. The hole about 19 feet across. Now when the sinkhole first opened, engineers filled it with gravel and water and then they fenced it off. It then reopened again in 2015. It was refilled then. Well, the county says despite the third reopening, surrounding neighbors are safe. The situation kind of is a repeat of what we saw in 2015, which was kind of as it was engineered to happen if there were to be a repeat. So we have that in our favor. The system is working as designed. Well, the county is going to start refilling the hole with gravel and water starting tomorrow morning, and that should take a few days. So the reopening of this sinkhole in Sefner brings back painful memories for the family of Jeffrey Bush. He's the one who died when that hole opened back in 2013. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is live at the scene there on Faithway Drive. Hi there, Aaron. I know you spoke with Jeffrey's brother. What do you have to say? Mark, well, first of all, he came out to this, this scene here, walked right up to this fence and started crying. And this goes without saying that, you know, when something like this happens again, all of those emotions that Jeremy Bush felt a decade ago come flooding back. When this sinkhole in Sefner reopened, it also reopened all the old wounds in Jeremy Bush's heart. As soon as I heard it opened up again, I just all the thoughts and all the everything just went back through my head again. Jeremy was there 10 years ago when this very same sinkhole swallowed his brother, Jeffrey Bush, while he was asleep in bed. Jeremy's desperate rescue attempts were unsuccessful, and Cruz never found his brother's body. It's a memory he'll never be able to shake. I opened up the door, and there was a big hole there. His bed and dresser and everything was gone. He was gone. I jumped in the hole immediately. Started digging, because I heard him yelling for me. Jeremy, please help me. The Bush's home and two neighboring houses were demolished and the hole filled with gravel. Loved ones placed a memorial at the edge of the fenced off property, hoping closure would come in time. But two years later, in 2015, it collapsed again. Jeremy can't believe it's happened once more. I live this nightmare every day. Every day, I have a hard time sleeping. It's just rough. Unfortunately, the Bush family knows this pain all too well. Jeremy says no matter how hard he tries, He's not sure he'll ever find closure. Just let him be at rest. And his final resting place was that. And it just keeps opening up and they keep adding more dirt on top of him. It's sad to me. It's almost every day, at least as much as he possibly can, to, uh, to visit his brother and as a way uh, to pay respects, especially over there at the memorial plaque on the ground. Now, uh, Jeffrey. Bush would have been 36 years old, well, was 36 years old at the time he died, Mark, and his birthday would have been 10 days from today. Just remarkable. Uh, there's nobody on the planet who can, uh, who can really know what he's going through because this is so unusual. Um, we are so sorry for him. Aaron, thanks.